Hey, everybody. So it really seems like we don't have a lead generation problem in our industry. What we really have is a lead follow-up problem. So I thought it would be really fun to bring the expert himself, the founder of followupdorks.com, Mr. Al Rivera, to come and share with us his best tips for how to automate your follow-up using LionDesk. Hi, Al. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you, Marnie? I'm great. Thanks so much for coming and sharing your tips with us today. We're excited excited. to learn. We're excited to be here. We're excited to be here. So let's just first start with assuming you got your lion desk today or you've had it for a while. You really just need to think of your lion desk in two separate groups because really it's only going to do two things for you. So group number one, you want to use your lion desk for automation converting those leads you're getting on Facebook, open houses, Zillow, realtor.com. That's where you're going to use all the automation. So we're just going to take all that automation stuff and just move it aside. And today I think it'd be cool if we talked about how to follow up and get actual results from all those buyers and sellers we have in our database. Maybe you've had some, a bunch of people in your database for years. What if we could get some business? Would, Would that be cool? That would sound amazing. All right, let's go. So what we're going to talk about today is just real quick, some follow-up. Okay, so remember I told you, you want to have your database organized for your long game. In, you're going to have it organized into four groups. The first group is buyers, sellers, friends and family, and past clients. So let's just say today we were focusing on what I would do to take a buyer that I met in an open house, let's say a month or two ago. And what are some things, Al, I could do with that group of buyers so that in four months, six months, 12 months, four years, when they're ready to buy or refer someone, they think of us. So what can we do, right? So what I would do at at least a bare minimum is I would reach out to that buyer, Marnie, at least 36 times a year. And one of the things I'm going to use, I mean, you could use phone calls, mail, You could visit, you could have parties, you could do all this stuff, but at a bare minimum, this is what we're doing to get great success with LionDesk. So the first thing you wanna do is use the video text feature. And you're gonna send one video text to your buyers every single month. Now let's pause on that real quick and let's talk about, first of all, who's even in this group. So the first thing you wanna do is, I'm hearing a lot of people say, Al, You know, I I send out those text messages and I feel like I'm not getting any replies. And I say, well, who are you texting? And they'll say, Al, I have uh, just a bunch of people my title rep gave me. And I'm like, oh man, like you do not want to be texting a bunch of people that really didn't give you permission or you have no relationship with at all. I mean, you were just getting names and phone numbers from a phone book and just text blasting them. I mean, They just have to block you with one click of a button. So anyway, you want to make sure, first of all, that you're text messaging people that asked you for something. So if you met someone at an open house, maybe you ask them for permission to keep in touch with them. Boom, you could text that person. Let's say a buyer requested your home buyer guide or or something you were sharing on, on Facebook and they downloaded and clicked it. That gives you permission to follow up with them on a text, maybe. So anyway, every month I send a video text to all my buyers just, hey, how you doing? So video text is one. The second thing I send is a holiday email. Now when I say holiday email, a lot of people say, Al, where do I even start with a holiday email? You know, like what am I gonna send? I'm not a creative person like that. So I say, here's a cool little thing. Go to Google and type in What are the holidays, you know, every month or whatever you want to Google? It'll pull up all the holidays in January. So January, let's say, has like 20-something holidays. February has like 17 things going on in February. Every month, there's ideas like boss day, this day, that day. So find something cool and send it to your clients. Send it to your buyers. Send, Send something really cool that just reaches out to them on a personal level and and talks about the holiday. Happy holidays and keep it very neutral. Remember, people have different beliefs and different things. You got to keep it very neutral. So anyway, that one's more of like a freebie email. 
so people could feel safe. Because imagine if every time the rabbit went in the hole, it got caught. It would be so scared to go into those, those traps, right? So don't make every single text and email like a trap for them. Be friendly. Build a relationship. Anyway, that's email number two is the holiday one, right? So then email number three is really cool because the third email is where you're showing off your skills. And what you're going to do with that one is you're going to record a two-minute video in Lion Desk. And, and by the way, Marnie, I know this is one of the hottest features, but let me kind of, before I kind of go into the third one, let me show you something about videos and links and all that with Lion Desk. A lot of CRMs are saying, or, or, or agents think their CRM does video text. So when I say, hey, Marnie, show me an example of your, you know, video text with ABC CRM, and they, they show me this, right? The one on the right hand side is an example of a typical video text that I see from other agents. They'll type out the text and they'll put a link to a YouTube video. Yeah. And let me tell you, Marnie, no one, first of all, wants to get an annoying text. And second, they do not want to get a link to somewhere else. They don't. On the left hand side is an example of what a Lion Desk video text looks like. They actually, on Lion Desk, well, you guys, embed a video that they could just click play on you could do a video that says hey everybody you know it's Al I just wanted to tell you about this really cool flyer or this really cool link or this really cool article and with your video highlighting and getting their attention they're gonna click on it a heck of a lot more now they open your email they go to your website they do something because they're seeing you're a real person you're you're not like some crazy person. I probably look like a crazy person. But anyway, the video in the text is a hot feature. But anyway, let's go back to the email now. So what's going to happen is when you're sending these emails out, let's say you want to do a, a video that you get clicks from. And we'll talk about clicks in a second. But what I'm going to do with my buyers is I'm going to put an email together. Now, first of all, the subject line. Lion Desk allows you or has this feature where you could put the customer's name in there where it'll merge it. So you don't have to do them one by one. You could put Lion Desk, put the customer's first name here. It'll put Marnie, check this email out. Boom. Now Marnie opens it. Now all of a sudden they open this email and Lion Desk allows you to have a two minute video in there. You could put, hey everybody, maybe you might want to film a video with you in the neighborhood. Once a week, dress sharp, show up, get your phone, get your tripod, film a video saying, hey, everybody, I'm in the Lakewood, California. I'm touring homes today. Check out the link of all the homes I'm touring today. Great homes out here in Lakewood. Anyway, you're going to have buyers clicking the video. That counts as a click. You're going to have buyers clicking your properties. That's a click. There, that buyer is going to get tracked as opening that email. So you're going to have all kinds of opportunities to see what this buyer is doing. Now that you have that information, now let's check this out. Now all of a sudden, what's going to happen is, if I were to just take buyers, let's say you have a database, right? And your database looks like the ones on the right, right? You have a whole bunch of buyers in there no tags, no notes. Maybe you don't even know if they're opening or clicking your stuff. I mean, buyer num on the right-hand side, even though they're in your database, Marnie, you're making cold calls to that group. Marnie, database is not supposed to be for cold calls. On the left-hand side, imagine if you have now buyers you're meeting at your open house in Lakewood and you're putting, these buyers are interested in Lakewood, boom. Maybe you had a conversation with that buyer and they were working with another realtor. Maybe they were working with another lender and they're qualified up to 600,000 because they told you at the open house. So now you know two things. The buyer wants to buy in Lakewood. The buyer is approved up to 600,000. And now you're sending that buyer valuable information every month about things going on in Lakewood. Now watch this. 
if I'm going to be making my phone calls on a Tuesday after I just emailed all my buyers, the ones on the left, look at all the information I could call them about. I could be like, hey, Bob, uh, I just sent you a, a, a link to some property searches in Lakewood. What'd you think? And you already know that Bob opened that email like four times. He knows you. He knows what, what you just sent him. And you know Bob opened that thing 18 times or five times, right? So I'm going to be like, hey, Bob, I just wanted to follow up. How you doing? And he's going to talk to me. See, those calls are going to be warm calls now. And all I'm going to do is go in and put notes. Maybe Bob might also tell me, Marnie, yeah, Al, you know, I've been looking and, you know, in two months, Al, I'm going to get that job promotion. And you know what? I think my wife and I are going to be ready to move in about two months. So guess what I do? I not only put notes on that, but I go into Lion Desk and put a task reminder to absolutely make sure that I don't forget to call Bob in two months. So now let's recap, Marnie. I'm getting leads from Facebook. They're getting automated, you know, conversion. I'm spending my time dialing the new leads. Let's say the new leads don't go anywhere. I move them over to my buyer nurture. They're getting one video text of my exciting smile and all that stuff. These are not spammy emails. They're not spammy texts. I'm sending them a holiday message every month. I'm sending them a valuable video of properties, restaurants, any information because I'm tracking the tags of the places they want to move to. And now when I call these people, I'm not just calling the ones with no opens, no interest in what I'm sending. I'm actually following up with my biggest fans. And when I call and, and mention my name, they instantly go, ow, what's going on, buddy? Why are you calling me? This is amazing. Honey. Marnie's calling me. Anyway, it's building relationships. I mean, honestly, Marnie, I think people are forgetting that the whole point of follow-up is to build relationships. You're going to build trust with people because remember that agent I told you that the, the client says, I'm already working with an agent. I already have a lender. You met them at the open house in Lakewood four months ago. Well, guess what? They haven't bought a home. And most realtors I talk to that if this person's not ready to buy right now, they just kind of move on to the next one. So when that agent moves on to the next one, all my lion desk people are still following up after three months, four months, five months. Here's another thing to think about. The other day, Marnie, someone was asking me, well, Al, I want to automate everything. I want to automate my new leads. I want to automate my long-term follow-up. I need automation across the board, right? So I said, what happens with that automation though is you really disconnect with your client because now I'm not trying to get Marnie on the phone. Now I'm not trying to get opens and clicks from Marnie anymore. I'm not building the relationship. So what I want to do is when those other agents stop emailing and stop calling and stop, my lion desk is going to keep going because I built routines I'm sending my texts every month, my email to the basics. And then once I move them to warm, hot, I start sending those people more calls. Maybe I might do handwritten notes to all my hots today. You know, maybe I might go and do a personal phone call. Maybe I might do an a email blast and invite everyone on my event that I'm having down at the park. But I'm not going to invite 500 people. I'm going to invite the top five, you know, the warm ones. I'm going to invite my people that are looking to get a property in Lakewood. Maybe Lakewood might have a music event happening in the park and I'm going to invite all my people to the park to listen to a free band that I'm not even the band member. <laughs> I you think know? what's so amazing about all of this that you've been sharing is at the end of the day, when you go to do those invites, because you've been tracking and using the system the whole way, you know exactly who to go to. That's it. That's huge. That's it. Birthdays, everything. I mean, you could, you could, last night I was thinking about something and I was thinking, wow, you could even make opportunities for missing information. Like, mm -hmm. let's say you're missing everyone's emails, the excuse to call. Hey, Marnie, I was just calling you because I didn't have your email. 
Hey, yeah. Marnie, I was just calling because I didn't have your birthday. Man, how can I forget your birthday? Yeah. yeah. That's it. But if you don't have any notes, you don't kind of have a plan on what you want to do. I mean, at the end of the day, Marnie, you're separating your business into the hunting and the farming. Mm 